Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is medium and I'm going to show you six shots here in how to bring home a chest or two before we start do not forget to subscribe to the channel also when it comes to being a patron you can order uh, personalized text guides you can get training sessions and you know everything from there visit golfclashtommy.com for more golf clash related content you can there also you know follow us on facebook instagram twitter all of the social media for the latest updates from us in team tommy and in this version here we're gonna play uh, a course from the wine yard acres and this is gonna be a course where it's going to be pretty pretty simple to get one of the rings because it's flat you know but it's all about getting it close so we can get the goodies you know we might can get the apocalypse and especially we can get some kingmakers and in this this version has been featured before and the thing that i've done here now is like instead of offsetting uh, our ball guideline as i have done the last time now i'm using the spin instead to offset so we're going to have a more uh, like consistent way of playing this hole if we do get the hole in one, we get the on onyx chest. We do get the fire chest as the yellow ring, scarlet chest as the red ring, topaz chest as the light blue ring, and then we have azure chest as the dark blue ring. We're gonna play with the golden long iron max distance with a 20% over adjustment, and that is the same as 1.5 per ring for those of you that do want to calculate it yourself in your head. For those of you including myself that don't want to do that i want to make it as easy as possible then we take a look at the top there at the vpr chart and there we can see that we do have the wind we're gonna have a wind between three to five miles per hour we're not gonna have below that we're not gonna have above that so we're gonna have that type of wind and then you have the rings on the side there so if you are a beginner on the ring system this is a perfect way to actually get a little practice as you do have it uh, like on the picture there above Gonna take a look at the landing position. Here we do have yellow ring, like bottom part of yellow ring, resting there by the top of the fringe. Ball guideline to the hole. Nothing more uh, special with that. Ball guideline to the hole, yellow ring there by the fringe. Very important that you are not adding any spin before you have put the landing position. So landing position, then spin, then adjust, and you take your shot in those steps. Then you're gonna do fine. And here you're gonna, going to be able to find uh, an asset for the Golden Shot Medium on the website, but also in the video description further down the road. So we're gonna take out. So now it's time for the, the video, and I'm going to talk you through it and give you uh, my adjustment here as we play, and then we're gonna going to summarize in the end. So shot number one, we have headwind three and a half bar backspin. Always with a straight headwind, we play with three and a half bar backspin. You're gonna notice that the spin adjustment will be pretty similar for uh, whatever type of wind with just some minor, minor tweaks. And as we do have the position we're having, we will not go in between clubs even if we have a headwind five miles per hour, which is good because otherwise it's gonna be a problem if we would be starting on a higher position. First shot coming in, ah, yellow ring still. But a little bit too much to the left there so we mm, need to tweak that one a little bit i didn't use any side spin i just used backspin so we're gonna open the chest here we do get some uh tsunami cards and we do in the end get some king makers and that's what we're looking for especially if we do have all the cards already maxed out all the clubs as well now we do have the same type of thing uh, here we do have a headwind but at 3.3 miles per hour so a little bit lower so the thing that i did was to add just a tiny little bit more backspin like instead of three and a half i just went a click more because lower wind does not affect the ball as much as a little higher wind even though it's a minor difference but that's something to definitely have in mind when you're playing regular tour play as well i thought this was most gonna go in but oh my god so close could it be closer here but that just tells us that we are getting close and we are getting spot on with our adjustment so now we are going to uh ooh, apocalypse cards two of them there get some kingmakers now we do have a 4.5 tailwind and crosswind together and now we're going to add a little bit more backspin here we're gonna play with four bars 
backspin. And the one, now we're also going to add a little bit of side spin to the right. Not much, half a bar is enough. And that is to compensate for the push that you're going to get by the wind. And we do then adjust 4.5. We're going to take a look at the wind chart. It's 2.9 rings. And then we take our shot. So the ball gets up in the air, we hit perfect, and we do want this ball to get close here. You can see we just coming in there a little bit to the right, we actually came in a little bit hot there. That was um, kind of interesting, I think that's just uh, something that is going to happen from time to time. We cannot really use more backspin, then we're going to fall short. But very close there to the right, but also, you know, we do want half a bar of side spin. It, it felt like we had a little bit more, right? Uh, so 4.3 other direction, same type of thing, 4 bars backspin, half a bar of side spin to the left here and then we're going to just once again compensate with a side spin for the extra push that we're getting. 4.3 gives us 2.8 rings and I'm gonna go and adjust and we're gonna adjust up to 2.8 here. Uh, went a little bit too much there, went uh, very close to three rings and always those decimals is definitely making something there. And sure, we come close, uh, but we went a little bit short. But that's okay, you know, we're getting close, getting the yellow ring, but it's time to, you know, accelerate a little bit here now and do get unholy in one. So 4.7 straight headwind, we learned from before, 3.5 bar backspin, aim at the hole, yellow ring by the fringe there, 3.5 bar back, and then we're going to adjust for 4.7, which is going to be slightly more than 3 rings, so 3.1 rings here, and very important that we do then uh, adjust it properly, and once we're done, we're going to take our shot, and hopefully we hit perfect. Very important obviously with the adjustment here that if we do not hit perfect we are going to have a problem. But we do hit it perfect here and it looks good. We like the camera angle and spot on straight at the hole getting the hole in one here. That's nice. That's definitely what we looked for. Maybe we can see if we can bring home another hole in one before we end the video here. Get some junglish. Eh. That's crap. Uh, Kingmakers, eight of them. That's nice. 4.6, straight crosswind here now. And now we're going to uh, go a slight different approach here. I uh, like with the spin, not anything else. So we're gonna go with slightly less than four. Just a tiny, tiny bit less than four bars backspin and one bar side spin to the right. And the one bar by, uh, side spin works as the same as the half a bar as we used before to compensate for the push that we are going to get from the wind when we do hit the ground, like the secondary wind effect. Secondary bounce wind effect. We hit the ball perfect. We get the ball to bounce on the uh, green there as normal, getting it this one nicely, coming in there for a hole in one as well to end it up there. Glad that we could tweak it, we could get there, and it's always lovely to end up with some hole in ones. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a fairly easy goal in shot, but in the end, if we do not follow the adjustment, if we do not hit perfect, then we are obviously going to have a problem. We're gonna summarize with the spin here, we do have a tailwind, then we go with max backspin. Tailwind and crosswind left to right, 4 bars backspin and 0 0.2 left side spin. Tailwind and crosswind right to left, same type of thing, but we just changed the side spin. 4 bars backspin and 0 0.2 right side spin. Crosswind left to right, 3.8 bars backspin and 1 left side spin. Crosswind right to left, 3.8 bars backspin and 1 right side spin. Crosswind and headwind left to right, 3.8 bars backspin and 0 0.2 left side spin. Crosswind and headwind, right to left, 3.8 bars backspin and 0.2 right side spin, then headwind, 3.5 bar backspin. And we are going to take a look at the landing position once again. Yellow ring, bottom part of it, just by the top of the fringe, ball guideline to the hole. And once again, very important, you put the landing position first before you're adding spin. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem finding the ball guideline to the hole. Then you're most likely going to miss either left or right or going to go short. 
or long for that matter. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comment section below what you got in your chest. Did you get the hole in one? Or if so, what did you get? If you have any questions also, of course, let me know there. Hit thumbs up if you liked the video. Thank you so much and good luck in the golden shot.